Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Sergey Kovalev takes another shot at Andre S.O.G. Ward ahead of their June fight. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. First of all, hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel, so smash that like button. Follow me on social media, too, if you want. I'm at Boxing Ego. Post a little motivation. I had no choice but to boss up and create my own lane. I'm feeling good. 2017 has been great for boxing, and we working. Now, you guys clicked on the video. Let's get right into it. Sergey Kovalev, up to his old tricks. This was actually funny to me. You see him with his son. He's training for his fight. And he posted this. And it's funny because Ward actually, I thought that was Kovalev at first. You know what I mean? At first glance, I just checked, but I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe let me know in the comments if that looked like Kovalev at first glance to you. But someone photoshopped this picture of Ward in Oakland. I remember because I remember when that picture was taken, I was there. And they photoshopped a, a Crusher Kovalev hat onto Andre Ward's smiling face. I thought that was funny. And the caption reads, Andre, son of Judges Ward, knows who is the best. He's a real piece of shit. Him and Adonis. <laughs> so, I thought this was funny. I wanted to share it, make a quick video about it. And before the the post when he's like, Ward got knocked down, he's on all fours, about to get up. And Kovalev was like, pray to your God, kneel before your God and all that. I don't. I thought that was too too much. That wasn't even to me. That wasn't funny. I'm not even a deeply religious person. I believe in God and I have beliefs, but I'm not a super religious person, right? And I'll leave it at that. And I thought that was I'm like, eh. I, I just can see that not blowing over or going over well with with fans. So I thought that was like, eh, that's a little bit extreme. But that was funny with the Crusher hat. And he's saying that Ward's a fan of his. He's training. I'm gonna tell you what, man. This is the type of fight no one's going to want to lose. Now, that might sound cliche to some of you guys that don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But what I mean by that is no one wants to lose this one. There's No one wants to lose a fight, period. Most people, unless you're Chavez Jr., you look like you wanted to lose versus Canelo. But that's just my opinion. This is the type of fight because Kola is doing a lot of trash talking, a lot of banter, a lot of build up, selling the fight, things like that. Ward's kind of in silence and... The first fight is is kind of like a Mayweather Castillo. There's controversy. Who really won? Look at the copy box. The knockdown made the difference. Ward picked it up in the second half. Those those different types of sediments and opinions that are out there made the first fight controversial. I was there live. It was a great fight. And it's sad that all the the politics and the, the controversy and the robbery talk and all that has overshadowed the actual fight and what they gave us, which was two, at the time, undefeated fighters risking it all, one moving up, which is what fans said they wanted him to do. They said, oh, you're inactive. He got more active and he moved up, which is commendable. And I know people in the war camp, he could have made 168. He probably had to diet harder, cut down, not eat red meats as much, you know what I mean, whatever he had to do, but he could have made 168. So he did. He wasn't forced out of the division. HBO did a multi-fight deal. This is a fight they wanted. They said, hey, move up, fight light heavyweight. You did it in the Olympics. And then the, the, the main course would be you and Kovalev. Fight two tune-up fights. He gets two tune-up fights or two voluntary fights. And then you guys meet in the middle. So this is a fight no one wants to lose. there's a lot riding on this particular fight and with the first fight being quote-unquote controversial then this will almost answer all questions if they split it then that that lends credence to to the people who say Kovalev won the first fight like hey okay Ward lost the second one right but if Ward wins again then he's he's repeating and showing like hey it wasn't a fluke I actually improved and got better and he, I told you he couldn't make those adjustments so he's on his Rocky IV hype training. I like it. I dig it. Let's go. This is a good fight. I just want to yell, Drago! This really reminds me of 
Super Rocky IV. <laughs> Nothing's over, just give me something to drink. Alright, Kovalev, I see you. I'm looking forward to this fight. It's coming up. Boxing has been wonderful this year. Andre Ward, he's doing his cryo or his ice bath. Hashtag the process, no shortcuts, I'm locked in. He's saying he's where he needs to be. He's getting in the sparring work, right? Let's go, this is a good fight. I know both guys are focused because like I said, no one wants to lose this fight. Nobody wants to be a loser of this fight because the quote unquote controversy, then if Ward loses, it'll look like all the people who said he lost the first fight, then it'll look like he did, you know what I'm saying? So June 17th, we shine. I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad to see both men appear to be training hard. And that's all I can ask for, for a rematch, for a meaningful fight. Let's go. Light heavyweight's popping. You got Sullivan Barrera, Joe Smith Jr. That fight is taking place. And you got other fights. You got Arter Better Biev. You got Adonis Stevenson. He said he's the king at 175. Time to shine. July 15th, Barrera Smith. So he's saying he agreed to it. Light heavyweight's popping, man. And I give credit for the Sullivan Barrera win because it's a big dude and he's since bounced back and, and been back on his KO streak. You know what I mean? Including a Golden Boy prospect who's undefeated who just sparred with Canelo. And that's Vacheslav Shabrensky, right? So let's go. That was a good win for Ward. Let's see what he does in the rematch with Kovalev and see the adjustments Kovalev makes. But Kovalev's poking more fun per usual. I thought it was funny. I thought that was funny with the Ward hat. So let me know what you guys think. He says, Andre, son of Judges Ward, knows who's the best. Who wins in June? June 17th. Let's go. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.